Good afternoon. I am in the future machine shed, um, working on tidying things up. Um, I have been insulating the walls, as you can see, and um, here's my kerosene heater. I got it tucked back in the corner right now. I don't run it there. I do pull it out some before I run it, but I've been, like I said, I've been cleaning, so I tucked it out of the way so I could move things. Um, we brought down a lot of stuff with us from Ohio, and um, I've been working on trying to get some mobility in here. I got most of the insulation done on the walls. I haven't touched the ceiling yet. Um, but I finally got this, uh, this shelving rack put together. It holds these black and yellow totes. It's built for that. Um, this particular rack is rated at 12,000 pounds if, uh, if it's put together properly. Um, I do not have it secured to the wall, so don't try this at home um, because my walls aren't finished. So I can't really secure it to something that's not there yet. Um, um, we brought down a bunch of timber on this uh, on that trailer there. A lot of sheet goods. The 2x4s and stuff are still out there. Um, I haven't brought those in. They're still under a tarp. But James and I moved all of these um, their, their wall panels and um, uh, plywood. So, let's see if you can see the edge here. The dog's down here in the way. So from, <clears throat> from here to here are our wall paneling, and there's a couple here, but I'm not going to use these because I used these for housing birds at one point, and I don't want them in my walls. But and this is all plywood left over from my um, uh, building project that I had in Ohio, and it would have cost more to replace it all than it was for me to take the trailer up to Ohio and bring it down with me. So it was worth it. Um, so, uh, with the totes in that rack there and some of our things placed up in the, uh, the loft there, I now have room to walk, um, to work down here. And I've got one more roll of insulation there in that cart that I'm going to be using to fill the corners and underneath the windows and all of these, uh, these narrow narrow bays, I don't know what you call them, um, this is only the third time I've done insulating, um, first time I was helping my dad as a kid, basically just handing him stuff, but I learned how to do the stapling and how to, um, how to friction fit, um, I do have some gaps I need to fill, because I didn't cut, you know, this piece or that piece long enough, and that's okay. And I need to pull that one, this one over here, out of the corner because it, the the space is too small for it. It's it's stuffed in there too tight, and it's not going to insulate anything that way. So I need to um, to shorten it. But I picked up some tips on on YouTube University to uh, figure out how to how to fit those small spaces and have it insulate properly and then after that's done then I get to do the ceilings so I have uh, I have sourced some um, ceiling baffles I don't know they're supposed to let the airflow go between the ceiling and the insulation so it doesn't um, the ceiling doesn't condense into the condense water into the insulation and turn it into a mold trap. So after I finish all the wall insulation, um, these, these sheet panels are going to get cut to size and I'll start closing the walls in and I can start um, putting things in their more permanent places. Um, this end of the building is going to end up being the uh, the solar room, the electrical room, um, the battery and the 
inverter and the um, breaker panel will be in here and it will be separately insulated from the rest of the barn um, because batteries need to be kept at a certain temperature so that they do not uh, or so that they will charge and um, I guess to increase their battery life I'm not sure James knows more about that than I do um, he will be getting to that in a in a video of his in the future but that's the card I put together um, for the for the solar battery so that he can roll it around at uh, his leisure when he needs to check cables and stuff um, and my my power tools are are folded up right now because um, they have a smaller footprint that way um, in order for me to run them I'll have to uh, uh, roll my generator down here and run the extension cord in or take these outside either way they have wheels so they're they're not too hard to move around um, that down there is the um, the auger that we built or built that we that we bought and I put it together um, not that there was much to put together it was just uh, inserting the um, the screw auger whatever you call it um, and it's ready to go I just have to uh, mix the fuel for it and um, I've already put the oil in it so I'm just gonna mix the fuel for it and uh, I was no no I put the oil in the um, the chipper shredder um, this one you use mixed fuel so you don't have to do that uh, and that's what that little gallon can down there is for I haven't there's nothing in it so don't worry about fumes um, that's just brand new and sitting there waiting ready to go James's chainsaw waiting to, for its uh, initial use and my pole saw up top there that has gotten a lot of use pretty sure I need to, to sharpen the chain now so um, I will be I found my files so I will be taking a day and trying to learn how to do that without destroying it um, so yeah that's pretty much it for for my uh, what I've been working on lately um, aside from the the shelter logic up on the hill which you know we survived the storm just fine but we we got uh, we, we didn't get a whole lot of wind um, next things are let's see we got a, a log ox uh, got delivered um, haven't unboxed it yet and a um, a laser level I haven't unboxed that yet um, I'll probably go ahead and do that because I want to give it a play and um, I'm keeping the dogs busy because I think James is recording his uh, his um, his ramble in the trailer because um, he can't be walking around on this driveway I mean if you look at the, the gravel down there there's some big stones and um, yeah if you're not careful you'll easily roll an ankle on this on this driveway <laughs> so um, generally you get this down and then you come in a few months later after it's been packed by the weather and whatnot and traffic um, and put down smaller gravel on top of it um, but we didn't have that kind of time and certainly didn't have that kind of money um, so we're just making do and tossing the big rocks off the side so that'll do for now all right um i'm gonna call it here and start another video and i will talk to you later